Power to the people, these Hong Kong protesters chant. Since the introduction of a wide-ranging national security law in 2020, critics say Hong Kong's political freedoms have been eroded. It's become part of a modern authoritarian state, part of a surveillance state. At the centre is the National Security Police. One of the group is Chan Po Ying. She's become a rare face of protest since the law was imposed. She defies the police and speaks out. Boeing is one of the last street demonstrators in Hong Kong. For decades, her group of activists have challenged the authorities. Now she's convinced she's under surveillance. Surveillance has become more severe for frontline social activists. In the past, the police didn't pay much attention to us. Now, both plain clothes and uniform police surround us. They even set up cameras and record us when we set up. It's psychologically intimidating. You never know when it could be used as evidence against you. Po Ying's husband is known as Long Hair, a veteran and rebellious activist. He has been detained for two years under national security charges. His trial has just begun. He is one of 47 pro-democracy advocates on trial for taking part in an unofficial election. They include scholars like Benny Tai, lawmakers like Claudia Mo, and activists such as Joshua Wong. The trial marks the biggest crackdown since the introduction of the national security law. If found guilty, they face possible life in prison. Despite the threat of imprisonment, some protesters are determined to challenge the restrictions. We are trying our best to create more spaces to protest. The red lines are still very vague. For example, the law of inciting subversion. We don't know to what extent we may have already crossed that red line. So we try our best to speak out until one day we may have to stop. Civil society has almost been paralysed. Those left are waiting to see what the next steps might be. Bull is a former lawmaker and street activist. Critics say the national security law is intentionally vague. As a precaution, we've blurred the words on his banner. It's unlawful to display banners like this one today. Furthermore, the Hong Kong government doesn't admit these are political prisoners. If you call them political prisoners, it's possibly violating the national security law. In 2020, Beijing imposed a national security law on Hong Kong. It effectively criminalised dissent. Today, the majority of the political activists in this city have either fled or they've been detained. Critics say what's happening to Hong Kong is a type of legal warfare. Last year, Ball spent 10 months in prison for inciting unlawful assembly. Yet he's determined to continue to protest. Today, he has permission to hold a street demonstration, but he's apprehensive. They take to the streets in a busy shopping district, but their protest banners are blank. Passers-by must read between the lines. Their demonstration brings unwanted attention. I can't verify if they're national security police or plain clothes police, but they are police. What looks like a plain clothes surveillance team look on. 
There are more than 10 plainclothes police surrounding us. They were allowed to continue their protest that day, but the risk of detention remains. No one knows how many national security police are active in Hong Kong. The Bureau has taken over several high-story buildings, including hotels for dormitories and offices. They have the power to investigate anyone thought to be endangering national security. Pro-establishment lawmakers say the national security law was necessary to restore order after months of protest. Don't just blame everything on the national security law. The law is there, everybody has to obey the law, whether you like it or not. It's passed uh, by the Hong Kong legislators, so that is a law that we need to, to uh, uphold, that's a law that we need to, to abide. And if you break the law, um, then certain consequences uh, will come into play. Hong Kong is opening up after years of COVID restrictions. But the space for dissent is shrinking. <laughs>